Ryan Weathers on the mound today for the Friars. Now make it a seven start the 23 year old Nico Horner leads it off. Here's a drive to left down the line long run Soto toward the corner. That's a base hit. Nico going for two. He's going to have a standing two bagger. Here's Dansby Swanson man already in scoring position with Horner at second base. Swing and a miss and he's able to strike out Swanson really tied him up with that fastball. First out for Weathers is by way of the K. And he reached back for this 95 had some good zip arm speed. Half 0 for 4 yesterday 0 for 8 in the series. Half chops it slowly toward third fair ball going to be a tough play and a high throw and a bad throw and the Cubs are going to possibly get a run Horner around third getting the green light. The throw home not in time Cubs lead one nothing Machado made a hurry up bad throw to first sailing over the head of Rivas it stayed in play in years past it might have bounced out of play Horner alertly scoring good base coaching by Willie Harris at third half goes to second Cubs lead one to nothing. In the air, shallow left has Kim backpedaling to short left and making the catch. Sunglasses on, two down. There's Patrick Wisdom. The line drive, base hit into left field. They're going to try and score a half. Here comes a throw from Soto. It's a good one, and he's going to be out. Juan Soto able to gun down Ian Happ at the plate. David Ross is saying hold the phone hold the phone we're not sure it was a good throw Pat, I think you may have something here I mean it was an outstanding throw he got there in plenty of time he should have been out but I think David Ross is going to take a look at this right now that foot might have slid in and touched the plate before the glove touched the leg I'm seeing one of those plays that had he been called safe I don't think they would have overturned it but he was called out and I'm just afraid they're not going to overturn this. The call on the field of out stands. Very nice. Out of the inning. Just the one run for the Cubs. Well, the little engine it could. Stroman is coming off one of the best starts of his major league career. Fly ball to right. Coming in, Suzuki makes the catch. Grisham is gone. It brings up Fernando Tatis Jr. Off the hands. Good pitch to the shortstop, Swanson. And that's out number two. Two up, two down. That'll bring up Juan Soto. That is ball four. And Juan Soto aboard with a two out base on balls. It'll bring up the cleanup man, Manny Machado. He's gone. Stroman strikes out Machado. The Padres don't score. Cubs lead one to nothing. Jan Gomes will lead off against Ryan Weathers. One nothing Cubs. Jan Gomes hits one in the air. Deep center field. Back is Grisham. That ball's at the wall. Gone. Jan Gomes puts a charge in one and the Cubs lead two to nothing. Just to the left of dead center about four hundred and twenty five feet away. Jan Gomes with an off day yesterday comes back swinging it like he did in the month of April. Trey Mancini here's a deep drive to left back is Soto. The Cubs go back to back. Trey Mancini with a long home run and the Cubs lead three to nothing. Mancini's fourth of the year. A line smash and it cleared the fence easily about 10 rows deep. You know you want to get somebody out of a slump giving the green light on a 3 0 count and that's what David Ross did right there. Second and third with only one away it'll force the infield in as Dansby Swanson comes up. Swanson lines one to left center field a gapper base hit. It's going to drive in a pair. It's a two run double for Dansby Swanson and the Cubs lead five to nothing and that's all for Ryan Weathers he will have a early departure here this afternoon. Miguel Amaya singled his first time and he scored a run. I am so happy to see this guy healthy. I mean Pat we've heard about him for the last five or six years mm -hmm. and I mean one of the hardest workers one of the best kids deep drive to left. This is going to be his first big league home run. Miguel Amaya alone to run Homer and the Cubs lead seven to nothing. Numero uno. I got a feeling somebody in that clubhouse is headed out to try to figure out how to get that baseball back. Hey we might have found our designated hitter finally. He's two for two today and that was not a cheap home run. That was way out of here straight away left. So Trent Gresham top of the order with work to do the Padres are trailing seven to nothing It's a ground ball to second and Horner boots it ends up behind him and in short right 
Grisham is on to begin the bottom of the third inning. Well, last night we saw some spotty defense from the Cubs, and this is another one. First and third, nobody out for Juan Soto. A ball at first, knocked down by Mancini. He's got one play and a run will score. In the back door is Trent Grisham with the Padres' first run of the day. So that leadoff error that allowed Grisham to get on turns into a run. Hard hit ball to left, half is back. Makes the catch up against the left field fence. Holding it second on the play is Tati is a line smashed by Machado. What a play by Ian Happ for out number two. Mancini one for two. He homered in the Cubs four run second inning. Down the right field line Fernando headed over towards the corner and to make the catch. Nice running catch into foul ground for Fernando Tatis Jr. The thing was slicing away from him. He's got the wall, but he makes the catch in front of it. Juan Soto leads off bottom of the fifth against Marcus Stroman. That is strike three. Juan Soto doesn't agree. He'll take with him the fourth strikeout today for Stroman. One down here in the fifth inning. Well, we just saw Marcus Stroman do his own version of the shuffle against Juan Soto. Gets a strikeout on that borderline pitch. Marcus Stroman does his little oh, shuffle. Oh, oh, very nice. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever seen a pitcher do yeah. that to uh, Juan Soto. So Soto, who shuffles on everybody, Stroman shuffling back at him. His own shuffle. I see it. <laughs> I saw you. Mm -hmm. Pitch in the dirt. A check swing. Did Cronenworth go? Yeah, he did. Strike three. And the Padres go down in order. Here in inning number five, last of the six, Cubs leading the Padres 7 to 1. Marcus Stroman still out there for the Cubs. Carpenter is out on strikes. Beautiful change up by Stroman. Carpenter way out in front, and that's out number two. In the air to center. Routine for Morrell. Another perfect inning for Marcus Stroman. After six, Cubs seven, San Diego one. Last of the ninth here in San Diego, Cubs seven, Padres one. Brandon Hughes, the new pitcher for the Cubs. Gary Sanchez batting. Two down, ninth inning. Cubs lead seven to one. This is playable, and this ball game is over. And the Chicago Cubs have beaten the San Diego Padres. A seven to one victory for the Cubs as they take a two to one lead in this four game set.